I think we are recording. Excellent. Thanks everyone so much for joining us. Uh, I'm so excited to be here with uh, fun fact, Carol, first person I met at my first PyCon US, literally holding the door open. If that's not a metaphor for Carol <laughs> the human, I don't know what is. And Naomi, who um, I, when I helped start the Pi Lady Chicago chapter, uh, I found Naomi on LinkedIn and had 801 questions. And Naomi's always been that person I can bring. You know, now it's like 1,201 questions, but that's that's always been this great relationship I have with these two amazing pie ladies, people who are here to leave more than uh, leave more behind than how the community was when they arrived. So thank you so much, both of you, for being here today. Uh, quick intro: My name is Lorena Mesa. My pronouns are she and her, and I help organize Pie Lady Chicago. Uh, I did a little bit of introduction to you both, but if you both wouldn't mind doing an introduction with your name, pronouns, uh, and a bit of, you know, your origin story with Python and Pi Ladies. Whomever wants to go first. <laughs> go ahead, Carol. Okay, thanks, Naomi. I'm Carol Willing. Uh, my pronouns are she and her. I have been involved with locally with Pi Ladies San Diego and uh, Pi Ladies Southern California and uh, also with the global efforts uh, within PyLadies. Uh, my journey with Python probably started in earnest in 2013 when I met um, an amazing person, Shauna Gordon McKeon, who was working on uh, outreach called uh, Open Hatch with people making their first contributions to open source and um, the rest is sort of history, I guess. Naomi? Yeah, uh, Naomi Cedar, she, her. Um, I started with Python in uh, 2001. Uh, it was actually August 28th, I think. I know that because I was at Linux World in San Francisco and I went to <laughs> a day long seminar on this weird unknown language Python given by this guy, Guido Van Rossum. Uh, and I was, was completely taken with it. Uh, I was at a school at the time and I rewrote our computer curriculum on the plane home uh, and uh, to use Python. And we started teaching it within months after that. So it was, it was love at first sight. Uh, and then over the years, I gave, gave talks to education groups and I um, did various things for PyCon's uh, Education Summit, among other things, where I first ran into uh, Carol Willing uh, and uh, just a bunch of stuff like that. And then for three years, I was uh, chair of the board of the Python Software Foundation. So that's me, PyLadies. Um, when I transitioned uh, in 2012, 2013, PyLadies was immediately a welcoming and safe environment mm -hmm. for me, and I will never forget that. I'm very happy for that because you have given us so much that um, Naomi is one of the kindest, most thoughtful, uh, positive people I know. and. Um, well, I'm really glad that we have you in the Python community because if I look back at the five years that you were on the Python Software Foundation uh, board, amazing growth in so many different directions. So thank you. Wow. Thank you so much. Okay, so if I get like misty eye during this all, like, like three tears, <laughs> I'm just gonna imagine I'm living my best better novella life. So opera. There you go. That's perfect. Um, <laughs> but but as you can see, these two women are such pillars in everything they do. They bring, uh, they bring their full selves to this work without a second question. I think to, if I ask, can y'all help me with this? It's not. No, it's great. How when. It's, it's always just a great con uh, continuity of thinking about how do we move forward together and make sure we bring our, our collective values together and build a better space for everyone. So I, I thank you both so much. And I mean, also Carol, Carol, you're doing amazing things with Core Python. I, I don't know if you want to mm -hmm. talk a little about that. <laughs> uh, sure. Um, Core Python is um, the folks that, uh, create along with the community, um, the Python language itself. And I've had the pleasure 
of the last three years serving on the Python Steering Council, which is a five member board that helps uh, guide the direction of Python. That's amazing. Thank you so much for that humble but brief uh, overview of that. Um, and I think that's one of the things that's really fascinating about Python is we have so many ways for you to continue your journey, be it you are a hobbyist, you're an educator, you're someone who's just wanting to learn a new skill set, or hey, you're using Python to take an image of a black hole, or, you know, putting a really cute rover named Perseverance on Mars. <laughs> So considering that there's so much in this space and considering the breadth of your experience, I just wanted to ask you both if we were to think about that from the perspective of PyLadies, what has PyLadies meant to you? Um, well, again, I, I think, you know, it's, it's been a, a safe and welcoming space for a lot of people who wouldn't have found it otherwise. And I think that cannot be underestimated. Um, I think um, the question always arises, you know, why would you have a women only group? Isn't that somehow putting, putting women aside, keeping them out of the mainstream? And I think what they don't understand is just the ability to breathe and relax in a, in a space that is not as challenging as maybe some other spaces is what really helps people get established and then go on to, to take on, um, to take on much larger challenges and things like that. It's, it's a starting place that I think keeps us welcoming and uh, gets more people involved in the community. I don't think that can be underestimated. Yeah, I mean, I think personally, I think Pi Ladies has been such a source of encouragement and also, um, you know, the safe space for me was absolutely critical. And I think, you know, that ability to be your authentic self, to ask questions without somebody saying, oh, that's not a good question to ask, as well as, you know, just the ability to share resources, to share knowledge, um, and watch lots of people grow together. And I think that sort of education focus, even if it's informal, is so important because you see people coming from peak complete beginners to then becoming to uh tutorial givers at pycons around the world and and i think why by having a safe space i think what it does is it lets people grow and make mistakes and get better and i think the whole Python community benefits from that. I know in San Diego, as PyLadies grew, so did the interactions within San Diego Python. And now in that meetup group, it's very hard to tell the difference between what's PyLadies and what's just, you know, Pythonistas doing cool things with Python. I love that so much. I mean, there's been a lot of uh, interesting dialogue, I think, around when it comes to open source and community, and particularly the growing the growing rise of no matter what technology is a part of everything we do, right? Um, and if we don't think about how we take care of one another in these spaces, particularly as the medium of what to build community changes, you know, we're not, I think, checking in with our core values. And I think, as you both said, bringing our true authentic selves to the work and to the space and being a human in this world. So I think you both bring some really interesting uh, touch points on that. And actually that does that uh, dovetails very well with this year's International Women's Day theme, Choose to Challenge. So that's a large theme. And I'm curious how you might interpret that theme in relation to be it the Python community or PyLadies explicitly. How, how does this message kind of resonate with you both? Well, so I think one feature of the past 12 months, given what they've been, uh, has been that there's been a lot, a rise of um, international meetups with people calling in from all over. And I know over the past 12 months, I think I must have done something like 20, 22, I don't know, uh, online things where I've talked to a lot of, a, a lot of of people doing Python, a lot of women, a lot of Pi Ladies groups around the world. And they are all um, really um, 
there partly because of the challenge, uh, both the challenge of learning something new and, and developing possibly a new career and, and moving in new directions and improving their lives. But even to be there, they're facing challenges with, you know, managing children, with, with trying to keep the household together, with doing lots of things that, you know, are, are the things that they have to do. Uh, so, you know, that's why I said earlier, it was easy to talk about this. I see uh, in, in Pi Ladies chapters around the world, incredible women everywhere rising to the challenge and meeting it. So yeah, it's right on for me. Yeah, I mean, for me, there's lots of ways I could go with choose to challenge. I, I mean, I could do the, the very straightforward challenge stereotypes and the status quo, but even more so, I think, the challenge to listen to each other, to first seek to understand somebody's perspective, and Naomi does this exceedingly well, and then respond to the changes that are happening both in our personal lives as well as in, you know, a more global sense, such as, you know, the challenges we've had with the uh, pandemic this year, because I think resilience and change are two things that are gonna get us further in the long run. I am like having goosebumps <laughs> listening to you both talk. And I think that this is just, both of what you're speaking to, the notion of understanding where you come from, using that to inform how you do the work today to inform what is tomorrow, is a really great way for us to think about you know, what comes next for Pi Ladies? If it's, you're thinking a calendar month, a calendar year, or, you know, 200 years in the future, I'm a Trekkie, so live long and prosper. So, you know, when Python's clearly Ooh. doing that. <laughs> um, what, what, what are you looking forward to next for Pi Ladies as a community? I mean, I think we're all looking forward to being able to meet in person again. Let's just say the obvious right away. Uh, but I, I also think that, um, I guess I'm, I'm not so sure my crystal ball is clear enough. I can say specific things, but uh, I think that we are in a position where we are facing a lot of challenges right now. But I think that if we rise to those challenges, and, and by we, I'm talking about pie ladies and, and people of goodwill everywhere, but we can actually do some, some real positive good, make some positive changes for the future as well. Uh, this, is, this is a moment of crisis, a moment of change. That means that there is, there is an opportunity for us to continue to improve things. And that's what I would encourage everybody to think about in this context. Wow, that's hard to follow up because my heart is totally with it there. I mean, we have such amazing individuals throughout the world. And I think, you know, helping them get what they need to succeed and prosper is, is really, um, I think, one of the missions of Python in general. Uh, Python you know, programming languages, there's lots of them out there. And why do you use a programming language? It's to get something meaningful done. And we're exceedingly fortunate in the Python world, at least in most spaces, to have the ability to take the language, to take complete beginners and watch them soar and do really meaningful work in their communities and beyond. And I think that is to me is priceless. I want to thank you both for taking time out of what I know is very busy schedules for you. Cause uh, even though the world's a bit different, I know that Naomi's going to like all of the meetups. I, Carol, I know you're doing all the work as well, both from, you know, you all creating space for others, helping us keep kind of our vision looking forward, but also reaching out to everyone and helping us think critically about why we do the work we do. So I want to thank you both for your time today. And if people did want to kind of continue the conversation, what would be a space they could find you all at, be it if it's pileadies.com or whatever that may be? Uh, for me personally, um, Pileadies Slack is really one of the best places. 
otherwise, at mentioning me on GitHub is probably also <laughs> a really good place because I spend a lot of my time with code and in that space. Yeah, certainly. I'm on the PyLady Slack as well. That's that's a perfect place. Excellent. Thank you so much. You all have a great rest of your weekend. And everyone, thank you so much for tuning in mm -hmm. for this fantastic conversation. We hope to catch you in PyLady Slack is where everyone said we'll be. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. My thank pleasure. Thank you.